Okay, I'm 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 recording. Don't no worries. I'm Are recording. you gonna be? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Supposedly, supposedly, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I hope you feel good that you are having a great day. And we are going to finish the day by learning, or in this case, by reviewing a topic that we're supposed to know, OK? So first of all, thank you so much for coming here. I'm so excited to start this, saying like that, this class as a conversation. Do you remember what did I say yesterday? What did I say yesterday about you? ¿Qué fue lo que dije acerca de ustedes? Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, I said that you are going to be the point of view. You are going to be the center of everything. You are going to be the protagonist of the story, okay? Okay, we are gonna start by giving a little bit of knowledge or things that maybe you doesn't know, but you are gonna be learning at the uh, in the process. I would like to start sharing the methodology that we are gonna be following. For example, did you see did you see the message that I sent into um, WhatsApp in the group WhatsApp? Yes. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Remember, it is important that you practice. It's important that you get new vocabulary and hope you are gonna get it by practicing. I just got two person that participated on that. And that's good. I know that we, are, that we have a lot of duties and sometimes we don't have the time. But remember, it's important to make or it's important to do a little effort in order to get a vocabulary because if we don't practice, we are gonna, we are not going to be improving. So that's why it is important to keep practicing every single day with the things that we do every single day, right? OK, we are going to start. Give me a second. Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Thank you so much. I'm going to turn off my camera because there is a there is a thing. There is like a square that doesn't let me see. Good. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to English from Home. We are going to start by getting a knowledge, or I would like to know if someone knows what means red handed. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa red handed? Inténtelo. No hay problema. Si se equivocan, no hay ningún problema. What does mean red handed? Como señal de alerta. ¿no? Como, ajá, como algo de alerta o, o algo de precauciones, no sé. Algo de precaución, algo de alerta. Very good. Any other idea about that? I think it's about the, something illegal. Something illegal, yeah. Could be going like that in that way. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we are gonna see what it's about that. And I would like to ask a help from Diego Castillo. Hello, mister, are you here? Um, okay, let me see the other one. Um, Miss Nancy, are you here? Yes, of course. Hi, Miss. Can you help me reading, please? Um, okay. We use this idiom when someone is doing something that children supposed uh, to do. Example, I got you red-handed. I can't believe we are a couple and you are cheating of the with other men. Good. And you are cheating me you are cheating on me with another man or woman. It's the pen, right? Um, I would like to know, Miss Nancy, what did you understand about that? 
Um, I suppose is um, um, when when you um, when you stay in a situation uh, complicated and you are um, no sé cómo se dice descubierto. <laughs> you are like a catch. Okay, like a catch. Um, for someone, uh, I don't know. It's 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 clear <laughs> my answer, but uh, <laughs> yeah, good. That means that when someone is surprised or someone is caught by doing something that shouldn't, right? Yes, <laughs> <Totally. Hey. laughs> Thank you. Let me see, Tatiana, Tatiana Abigail, are you here? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. Hi. Welcome. I would like to know, what is idioms? Idioms is a phrase that use native people to express to express ideas to another people. In El Salvador, we have uh, um, all idioms, and in the United States, they have own idioms as well. Mm. And can you give me one example of the idioms that we have here in El Salvador, please? Okay. Um, let me see. I, I don't know. <laughs> in Spanish, one that you know. In this moment, I don't remember something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I will get you. Okay, thank you so much. Let me see, Jessica, are you here? Hi, teacher. Hello, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. Tell me, Jessica, um, what is what is red-handed and what is uh, idioms and how it work? How can I use it? Uh, can you repeat me the question, please? Of course. What is idioms and how can I use it? What is idioms? Mm -hmm. What is idioms? I think um, the way to say it, I think. The way to say it, but this is very like a literally. No, I mean in the way. What does mean idioms in, in English? Para que las personas ocupan los idiomas. Sería la like right? I really don't know, teacher. Mm, okay, not a problem. We are gonna see what it's about. I would like to know, guys, if someone can help me by giving me a definition about idioms and how can I use it. Say to me, please. Don't be shy. Just try it. It's okay. Five, four. For me, who said me? Sorry, I didn't see. Hello. Hi, <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Monica. Tell me, what is idiom and how can I use it? Yes, teacher. Using to communication, how do you say, entre, entre Americanos? You can say it like between Americans or between natives? Yes, it's just, uh, using communication between American between. Yeah, just, you can example, say it like, uh, yeah, go to, sorry. Example, uh, nuestro, nuestro idioma, por decirlo así, uh, se puso color de hormiga. And what does that mean? What does that mean? Me? ¿Qué significa ese idiom in Spanish? What does that mean? Eh, que todo se puso difícil. Todo se puso difícil. That's good. Good. Very good. Remember, guys, an idiom is when we are going to express like a phrase like a sentence, but it doesn't mean exactly the thing that there it is. For example, red-handed. 
red-handed, si nosotros lo ponemos a comparar red, es como decirlo como el color right. Ya después handed, como agarrado, como en la mano. ¿Tiene algún sentido? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes. Si yo lo digo así, red-handed, eh, eh, mano roja o mano agarrada en, en roja, ¿tiene algún mm -hmm. sentido? No. Las manos en la masa. No. Las manos en la masa. Correct. But if I say it in the, in the idiom way, red handed, manos en la masa. I got you in the red handed doing this, and you shouldn't be doing this. Okay. So we are going to start by giving me each of you just one example using red handed. Okay. Me van a dar un ejemplo utilizando red handed, ya que, ya que saben qué significa manos en la masa. Okay, I'm just gonna give you three minutes. Go ahead. Van a crearla, escriban en su cuaderno y ya después me la van a decir uno por uno, ok? A las 9 y 17 eh, voy a empezar. Uh, teacher, eh, eh, I'm a story. De no, una historia de nosotros, o de que nos agarraron con las manos nomás o algo así. <ríe> es una oración. Como un dicho. Ah, Correcto. Un dicho salvadoreño. Ah, Pero okay, siempre okay, utilizando okay. red-handed. Okay. okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, Nancy, not a problem. What you're gonna do now, you are gonna create a sentence or you are gonna create an example, something something short, not too long, by using red handed. For example, over there, I got you red handed. I can't believe we are a couple and you are cheating on me with another man. That is an example, my own example. Now you need to create your, your own example. Okay, thank you. Not a problem, just one minute more, guys. In English, did you? Of course, in English. Now it is time. Okay, give me a second, please. Who is ready? Who is ready? Raise your hand. Who is ready? Raise your hand. Thank you so much. And we are gonna be in... Thank you. We are gonna be in order. Let's see. We're with Miss Fabiola Martinez. Okay, I'm not sure why we use the, the verb to be, but um, my example is <laughs> Jennifer was the real handed with her boyfriend. My goodness, imagine <laughs> that, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, and, and la mano, con las manos en la masa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. with her Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> by doing what? We don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Different, Thank you so much. Look in a different direction. A different Perfect. direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now let me see. Diego Castillo, go ahead. Um. Okay. Uh, I found my brother red-handed. Uh, he was eating the cookie that I had saved. Good, very good one, a good one, I like it. 
better be careful with that. <laughs> Thank you. Let me see, Jessica, now it is your turn. Okay. Um, give me one second. Your boyfriend is cheating on you with your best friend. I found them red-handed in the kitchen during the party yesterday. My goodness, and that is it is a good, a very, very good example. History. And it, that and that's right. That's right. I like it. I like it. I I think that you are gonna be the one that loves to write these histories or stories about that or about different kind of thing. Correct. A little bit. <laughs> I'm anxious to see that. Thank you so much. Now, Mr. Israel, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, my is, uh, he stole a computer, but the camera and the officers caught him red hand handed. A good one, good one. Thank you so much. Let me see. Miss Tatiana Abigail, go ahead. Okay, my boss get red handled me when I try to miss to my job, supposing that I was sick. Good one, a good one. Be careful with your boss. <laughs> and let me see, I have Jennifer Ramirez. Yeah, I, uh, my ex, uh, Nani was stolen the jewelries of my mom's last month and I got her red red hair. Wow, I, I like it. A good one, a good one. And let me see. Miss Nancy, where are you? I'm not able to see you. Nancy? Okay, um, leave my chocolate cake. I knew that. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I know good to hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Hello, hello, Miss Nancy. Can you hear me? Hmm, maybe she is having internet issues. Guys, are you able to hear me well? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank yes. you. Okay, you can put your, your hand down. Thank you so much for your participation. I really appreciate that. Okay, ¿qué les parece si cada día intentamos aprender un nuevo idiom? ¿Qué les parece esta dinámica? Para que así podamos ir como implementando un poco más. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. And thank you, Miss Nancy. I already have it over here. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. And I have over here a board. Can you see that? This is a board. And you are going to tape over there what is third person in simple present. What do you know about it? Just give me the ideas that you have. I think that you are able to annotate, right? You are able to write or not. There is the option on your Zoom. Guys, está la opción para que ustedes puedan anotar, escribir, en la, en la, como en esta pizarra que tengo aquí, over here. Oh. Creo que sí, teacher, pero nunca le hemos usado. Try to do it. Also, we are learning about technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm able to see that you are able to do it. Okay, so I would like that you place the main ideas that you have about third person in simple present. ¿Qué saben acerca de tercera persona en presente simple? Sure, and I guess I can't, Ryan. Okay, if you're not able, go ahead and use the Zoom chat, okay? Not a problem, use the Zoom chat. Okay. Go to go, I'm not able to see your messages, go.
I'm waiting for you guys. I would like to see how do you type? How is your grammar? And what are your ideas about topic? Third person in simple present. To express daily routines. Very good, Miss Tatiana. Good one. Come on, guys. I'm not able to see your messages. Use them, item G. Hmm. Good one. We are gonna see that, okay? Talk about her, his, or it. Good. When you add it, when you add it, S or E S. Mm hmm. Miss Fabiola, and that one is a grammatical rule. I don't remember, but I remember. Okay, I we remember. are gonna remind that. Okay. Okay. Let's see, guys. Go ahead. Send me your messages. Sorry, it's missing Mr. Israel, Mr. Uh, let me see. Give me, let me see. I think that there is missing Miss Jessica, Mr. Diego. Third person are she, he, and it. Good one. Miss Raquel, Miss Veronica, send your messages. Okay, thank you so much. Does and do a good one, a good one, Miss Jacqueline. Okay, we're gonna see that. Perfect, guys. As you'd explain, it's important to know which one are the personal notes and which one is gonna be for the third person. As you stated, we have the subject over here. I would like that someone can help me reading the subject in third person, please. Sound one. Or should I pick sound one? Hmm. Let someone over. I, someone open the microphone. Go ahead. Oh, Jennifer, go. Help me reading. Uh, only read. Yeah, please. Okay. A uh, singular person. First, the subject I and object me. Uh, second, you, subject you and object you. Third, subject he, she, it and object him, her, it. Plural, plural person, first, subject we and object us. Second, subject you and object you. Third, subject they and subject them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Okay, thank you so much guys. Now that we know that in this case, the third person in subject, we use he, she, it, and in plural is they, right? And remember, uh, in grammar, a statement in the third person is a statement about another person or things and not directly about yourself or about the person you are talking to. The subject of a statement like it is she, he, and it, name or noun. And as you mentioned, guys, we use it for routines, process, preference, and customs. We are gonna see a short video, okay, related with that one. Just give me a second and I have it over here. I'm gonna start sharing the screen again with sound, share sound. Yeah. Present simple, spelling rules for verbs. When speaking about a person, animal, or something else in singular. For most verbs, we add S. Works. Verbs ending with a consonant plus Y, we erase the Y and add IES to the verb.
fly, flies. Verbs ending in S, Z, C, H, S, H, X. We add ES. Kisses. Buzzes. Watches. Splashes. Fixes. Verbs ending with O, we add ES. Goes. The verb have, we replace it with, has. Thank you so much. Were you able to hear the video? Guys, fueron capaces de escuchar el video? Were you able yes. to hear the video? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, that sounds good. Now, you know what is about third person? When do you use it? And what? which one are the subjects, correct? Yes. Thank you. Now, you are gonna be the ones who's gonna give me the meaning when we use it and what are the what are the subject it's not necessary that you provide me the rules today because this is going to be for the another for another hour so feel free and feel free to say what did you understand and what do you remind did you remind about third person and i'm going to be asking what uh, one by one so i'm going to start with miss veronica lopez miss veronica what did you remind about third person? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Miss Tatiana Abigail, are you here? Yes, teacher. Thank you. What did you learn or what did you remind about third person? Give me, give me your explanation about it, please. Okay. I remember that ter um, the simple present third person is to express that daily routine from he, she, or it. And you, when you use he, she, it, you have to add ES at uh, the end of the word, or only S or I E S. A good, good, very good. And it depends of the rule, correct? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Raquel Campos, are you here? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Miss Nancy Gonzalez, are you here? Five. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Miss Nancy. The sentence. Hmm. Be careful over there. Remember that the verbs change depending on of the ending for. Depende de cómo termina la forma del verbo. This is gonna be changing by rules. No es como que ah simplemente terminó en y y le voy a agregar una s. It depends. Correct. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Now let me see. Miss Nathalie, Monica, Nathalie. Okay, now the stage is yours. Tell me, what did you understand or what did you remind about third person? Yes, teacher. Uh, the, uh, also the word, the end, in X, C, H, S, H. How do you say agregar? <laughs> Add. Or add, add little ES. Mm, good one. Thank you so much. 
And I would like to hear boys, Mr. Jadis and Mr. Diego. Are you here both? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Let me see. Miss, Mr. Israel, you are gonna ask to Diego which one is his routine, and then you are gonna say, tell me what is his routine, okay? Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Diego, uh, I have a question for you. What is your daily routine? Wake up at nine o'clock and I wash my dishes. No, I wash my, I brush my teeth and later I eat the breakfast. I don't know why it's okay. Good one. Now, Mr. Israel, tell me the routine. First in the morning, uh, first I wake up, then I take a shower, and and then I I make my breakfast to me and my brother, and then I do recite the class. Thank you. Yeah, but that one is your routine. I would like to know uh, Diego's routine. Explain me, which one is oh, Diego's routine? I'm sorry. Uh, Diego's routine, first they wake up and then wash your di dishes. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, teeth. And then make her his brain. Okay, very good. Just be careful. You are using not in the right way the subject and the object. In this case, we um give me a second. As a personal pronoun, for example, and repeat after me. Diego wakes up every single day at 9 a.m. Now your turn. Diego wake up. Mm -hmm. And now, sorry. At 9 a.m. every single day. 9 in 8 every single day. A.m. 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 Correct. Then he brushes his teeth. Then he brushes his teeth. Mm -hmm. Notar, estamos diciendo él, he. Brushes. ¿Qué hace yes. él? Limpia sus dientes. Entonces, ¿de quiénes son los dientes? De él. His. Yes. Perfect. And the last one. And at least, he eats his breakfast. And then he eats his breakfast. Perfect. There is a difference, right? Yes, yes. A good I'm one. <laughs> no worry. You did it well. Thank you so much <laughs> for your participation. Thanks. The, let me see, Miss Fabiola Martinez, have you participated on this one? No, yes? Yes, teacher, of course. Thank you. Okay, um, for the example, yeah, the third person. You can give me an example or you can give it an explanation. I would like to know what, what is third person for you and what did you understand or what do you remind about that? Okay, for me, the third person is when you describe um, the other person that is not so full in the conversation. For example, I remember when you describe um, your, it's not your, it's your, the brother, but you describe the brother, your friend. So it's the third person in the conversation because it's not so full in conversation with your friend. And an example, or in a, the grammar rule, it's about you add S or ES in verse, in the principle there's for the third person. And an example, uh, for example, Jonathan is status now English class. Uh, repeat it again, sorry. 
And Jonathan, yeah? Yeah. Jonathan, no. It's a studies. Studies English class now. Mm -hmm. You can say it like Jonathan studies English class. At studies, or yeah. Every day, something like that. Yeah. Without without is the verb to be because they yeah. is there are times to the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much, Miss Fabiola. Fabiola, I really appreciate that. Let me see, Miss Jessica. I think that you hasn't participated. Would you like to participate? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna share with you my routine, and then you are gonna say you're gonna share my routine with your class. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay. I work every single day and I love my job. I like to be on my English classes every single day with Miss Gabriela. Uh, <laughs> he loves to, he loves uh, his job and uh, he loved to be in English classes with Miss Gabriela. Perfect, amazing. Guys, did you see that? She didn't know or she wasn't sure about the order of the things that I said. However, did you understand her? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yeah, because yes. she used her own words and that is about English. I'm gonna give you some topics and I would like that you practice that with me, all of you. Remember, when you are speaking, it's not about that you are speaking like it is a race and you're gonna be the first one you need to speak fast, 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 fast. No, speaking English means that you're gonna pronounce the words as, as best as you can. You are going to pronounce it in the right way and you are going to speak in a way that the other ones are able to understand you. It is a process when you are going to be practicing every single day, you are going to be getting this speed, like speaking a little bit faster. And one thing that is so important in this is that you make that you do articulation. What does that mean? Who knows what is articulation? La articulación de las palabras. Correcto. Correcto, correcto. La articulación es la manera en cómo nosotros expresamos las palabras, cómo nosotros abrimos la boca, la forma de nuestra boca, para que ésta sea proyectado, ¿verdad? Porque eh, no es lo mismo that I say, um, I feel very good. Thank you for coming. I'm glad that you are here. And I say, I feel very good. Thank you so much for coming. And I'm so excited that you are here. It's different, right? Yes. So that means that the articulation and the intonation that we place every single day in our daily use. Give me a second, please. That we use every single time that we speak is very important. It's very important how we speak. So now we are gonna make a commitment. Vamos a hacer commitment, ¿qué es commitment? Guys, ¿qué es commitment? Five, ¿Promesa? Sí, como una promesa. Nos vamos a prometer a nosotros mismos que vamos a empezar a utilizar más la articulación, la, the articulation and the intonation, ¿ok? Así que cada vez que vayan a participar, intenten articular bien, um, de, de, de mostrar energía dentro de lo que dicen, and you are going to feel the difference, completely the difference. In the next class, we are going to learn about the rules in third person, and what do you think if we start practicing this, the articulation? ¿Te gustaría practicar la articulación y la entonación en la siguiente yes, clase? Yes. That's very, very good. Okay, so today we get a short introduction about third person 
Porque recuerden que es importante recordar de dónde viene el tema, what is about, how can I use it, what are the subjects, and then once you have that idea, which one is the next step? ¿Cuál es el siguiente paso when you have that idea? Mm -hmm. the person or the, about the articulation? Como le decimos de we are going to start by getting the rules. Vamos a aprender acerca de las reglas. Y ahí tengo unos juegos porque yo sé que aprender las rules, ah, I know, I know what, the, what it feels. <laughs> so we are going to play. So the next time be ready. We are going to practice intonation and articulation, and we are going to learn the rules with games. ¿Les parece bien? Vamos a hacer juegos. ¿Les parece bien? Yes, yes sure. Okay, teacher. Very good. Before letting you go, me gustaría saber cómo sintió... Sean sinceros. No a problem. No a problem. Mm. Mi opinión, no, no sé, siempre pues, trate la manera de entender bien porque así hacía la visuales, pero mm -hmm. este, sí me gustaría como algunas veces tratar la manera de algunas palabras decirlas en español porque hay, hay lenguaje, eh, lenguaje de su vida es muy, muy avanzado, entonces Siento yo que para mi persona, siento yo que no, no capto las ideas casi, casi como en... Por eso, por eso. Pero sí, eh, son perfectamente diferentes, pero, o sea, no sabía que tenía que aplicarse también. Muchas gracias, no te preocupes, lo tomaré en consideración y vamos a empezar con la actividad que tiene el grupo. Because by doing that, you're gonna get vocabulary, okay? Thank you. Me ponen que les gusta bastante la retroalimentación. Sounds good. Okay, just one opinion more before letting you go. Una opinión más antes de dejarlos ir. ¿Qué les gustó o qué les gustaría cambiar de la clase? En mi caso, Teche, me parece bien. O sea, la clase. O sea, me gusta bastante de que pues se concentre bastante en enseñarnos. Porque al escucharlo hablar a usted inglés, a veces nosotros también nos vamos como con, como con esas palabras de uy, ¿qué dijo? Y, y cómo se llama. Y a veces las vamos a investigar en todo caso. O, o no sé si alguno ya le ha de haber preguntado a usted o algo así. A mí me parece bien que, que, que lo diga en full inglés, ¿verdad? Este, a mí realmente me gusta bastante igual las retroalimentaciones que hace y, y que nos enseña de una manera totalmente diferente a que nos enseña la amiga Gabriela. La, la, el tipo de, de enseñanza que nos daba la, la teacher Gabriela era excelente, pero pues nunca está de más aprender de una manera nueva. Thank you so much, guys. I'm gonna let you go. If you have something in mind, feel free to ask me. I'm available for you. Remember, you can send me the chat. Sometimes I take a little bit long, but I'm gonna answer you, okay? And last, um, Miss Raquel, do you have something to say? Yes, uh, yo quisiera decirle que en inglés, que siento que es bien necesario eh, comenzar a, a, no sé cómo decirlo, a, a educar al oído, porque si solo, está bien que nos digan ciertas palabras en español, vea, bien, pero, en mi caso, a mí me gusta eh, que comenzara a educar mi oído por entonces siento yo que necesito escuchar el inglés como se dice y me gusta la clase bastante. Ok. Thank you so much for that feedback. I really appreciate that. Ok, guys. The class is over. Thank you so much for coming and have a wonderful rest of the day. So that means the night. Bye bye. Good night, sure.